wanted to create a quick little video to show you how easy it is to run parties simultaneously. Um, this means you can have multiple events running at the same time, starting and finishing at the same time. So if that interests you, keep watching and I'll show you how you can schedule multiple. Uh, so right now I'm going to go ahead and schedule my parties that I have running simultaneously. And I have four parties that are starting and finishing on the same day. And I want to just show you how quick and easy that is to have them all scheduled, ready to rock and roll. You don't actually have to do them all individually. So obviously you need to go ahead and book the event into the Lorraine Lee system. You need to create your group, um, your individual groups on Facebook. And once you've done all of that, you can come across to the Cinch Share website. And the first thing you'll need to do is over here on the left-hand side, click on the My Networks button. So the best thing to do is come up the top and click the refresh button and this will just refresh your network since the last time you were in here. And what we're going to do is sync the four events that you want to go ahead and schedule so that when it comes to scheduling time, it's really easy to identify which ones um, you're scheduling in this time. So I'll wait for this to refresh and I know that my four hosts, I've got Suzanne, Cassie, Holly and Maria that are all running simultaneously. So I need to find their groups and um, favorite them, if you will, so that they appear um, in just a moment. So I'm going to scroll down and I have these ones linked to my business page. So right at the bottom, you'll see Facebook pages and I'm going to click on my business page and directly below that, all of my groups that are linked to my business page will appear here. The first thing I'm going to do is unfavorite the ones that I have just previously been scheduling because I don't want to see those in my networks anymore. And I'm going to find the four events that I do want to work on um, this time. So I've got Susan, Cassie, Holly and Maria. So there's Cassie. I'm going to pop the heart beside her. There's Holly, um, Maria, and okay, now Susan's not there. So I'm going to show you how to find her. So if we click on the link up here, the link group, um, you can pop in the uh, URL for the group that is um, missing. And basically all I need to do is come over here to my Facebook these messages um, and I'm going to search for Susan's virtual there it is just there so I'm gonna go ahead and copy the URL come back over to Cinch share and paste it in here and it's saying group ID found press link and now Susan's should be listed down the bottom here. There it is. So we can pop a heart on that one. So we've now told Cinshare that these are the four that we want to show up when we start doing our posts. So next, you can see here, Cassie, Holly, Maria, Susan are all there ready to rock and roll. So now I'm going to go across to my online party template. And I am going to go to my pre-party posts first. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. I like to individually do the first post because I need to put my host name and her event link in. So I'm just going to show you, take you through exactly how I would do this. So click on the little aeroplane. I'm going to do Cassie first and her event is running until the 24th of June. I'm then going to go ahead and grab her link from the text message that Lorraine Lee sent me. And I'm going to copy that from my phone and I'm going to paste it where the party link goes. So I'm going to go Cassie and I'm happy to just schedule that right now because that one is going to go in before I add her in. I'm also going to do this fourth post because I have to put the host link in here as well. And because I've already copied the link, I can just paste that in there, select Cassie, and I'm going to schedule that as well. Now I'm going to do the next one, which is Holly. So I'm going to change this to Holly, make this the 24th of June also. I'm going to get Holly's party link, pop that in 
here. This is the, I guess, the, the fiddliest part. Once you've done these sort of individual posts where you have to sort of change details, um, then it's even easier. There's also a find and replace function, which you can also use, which helps you find like a host name or a date or something that you'd like to replace. But I, I actually just find it easier because it's only a couple of posts that you need to customize uh, to just do this bit manually, but whatever works best for you. So this is now Maria's party link and schedule. And then post number four. And I'm going to come back and do two and three in just a tick. It actually really doesn't matter what order they go um, into the group. So I'll show you what I do with those ones. Um, post number one. And this is going to be Susan. Oops. Susan. 24th of June. And Susan's party link. I just need to find that. So many party links. Susan, I'll just search her in my phone. There she is. Copy link. Paste. Schedule. And we'll do post number four. So it's post number one, post number four, and then the very last post. For the event are the ones that I find I have to customize and put host name in. Everything else I can pretty much batch post. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first of the batch posting. So post two and three, they don't have anything I need to customize. So I'm going to select both of those, come up to the right hand corner and select batch post. Now I'm going to put all four of these and because there's no, I, I don't, there's no specific time frame that these needs to go in. I'm just going to apply the interval. They're going to post these today at 2.15 and 2.20. So I'm going to go schedule batch. So that is the pre-event done. That's the fiddly part. Then all I need to go is go to day one. I've got five posts every day. I'm going to go to the top right, click select all, click batch post. Now I like my posts to start around 7.30 a.m. Now day one for these events is the 17th. Now I know if I do th uh, five posts a day, I need them to go every three hours from 7.30 a.m. And if you come over here, you can see they're gonna start on the 17th at 7.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m., 4.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select all four and schedule. So that's day one, done. Click on day two, click select all, click batch post. Uh, day two is the 18th. I'm going to start them. I'm just going to make it 7.16. It really doesn't matter. Um, every three hours. One, two, three, four. Double check that they're starting in the a.m., finishing in the p.m. Schedule batch. I'm going to come across to day three. Select all. Batch post. Day three is the 19th. 716 every three hours. Apply interval. So starting in the AM, finishing in the PM. One, two, three, four. Schedule. Day four. How easy is this, huh? Select batch. Every three hours on the 20th. Apply. Starting in the morning, finishing in the evening. One, two, three, four. Schedule batch. Day five. Select batch seven on the, is it the 21st? One, two, three, four, five. Every three hours, two, three, four. Um, oh, now I've done that the wrong way. See how I need to double check this because I've now got it starting at 7.17 p.m. So I just need to change this to a.m. 
go apply interval and it just changes. So always double check that because it throws things out of whack a little. So I'm just also going to check that I've got the correct day. So one, two, three, four. This is day five. Beautiful schedule batch. And I'm going to go to day six. Uh, select all. Batch post. So it'll be the 22nd a.m. every three hours. 10 p.m. a.m. One, two, three, four. Schedule. Day seven. Select all. Batch post. Now I've got one extra post on day seven. So as it gets a little closer to the event finishing, I, I add a couple of extra posts in. So with this one, I'm going to start it at 7.18 and I'm going to put two hours in here as the interval and just see what time it finishes up. So that's finishing at 5.18, which is not ideal. So I'm going to go for 150 minutes, which is two and a half hours. And that now has it finishing at 7.48 PM, which I'm happy with. So you can just sort of tweak it to suit. Um, we'll go schedule batch. And then the last day, day eight, I've actually got more posts again. Um, so we'll go select all. Um, the only one I don't, I'll actually do it anyway, select batch posts. And this last one, the last post has to be customized. So I'm actually just going to click the cross and cancel that one off. So there's only seven posts to go across. Now I'll start these ones a little earlier. I'll go seven am and we'll just try every two hours first which has this last post going in at seven which is perfect because I would like my my last last post to finish at 8 p.m so let's go ahead and schedule those making sure it's am to p.m and then what we need to do is just this lucky last post we're going to hit these ones and do them individually again so my first host of course is Cassie so I'll just pop Cassie's name in there and then I'm going to do the 24th at 8 p.m. schedule then I will do Holly's next so I'll pop Holly in there oops better give her a capital 24th, 8 p.m. schedule. Next is Maria. Maria, 24th, 8 p.m. Now you've probably noticed I do eight days worth of posting. And that is simply because I'm just finding it easier to start and end the party on the same day. So it starts on the Tuesday, it's finishing the following Tuesday. That's just my OCD kicking in. It makes it easier for me to manage, but just, you know, do what works for you. So Susan, there is no right or wrong, guys. I can't stress that enough. 8 p.m., 24th, uh, schedule post. And that, my friends, is the entire party schedule. So I'll show you if you come over here to pending. And if I just type in one of those um, names like Cassie, if I type in Cassie and click on that, it'll bring up all of the posts for Cassie. So you can see the other three pre-party posts have obviously already scheduled because there's just that one post left to go in there. The party starting on the 17th of June, you can see. 7.30, 10 30, 1.30, 4.30, 7.30. Then the 18th, you can go through and just check all of these posts and make sure that they're all posting across at the correct time. You can edit any posts from here. Um, you can add extra posts in if you like, but that just kind of shows you how quick and easy it really is to schedule for parties. Now those parties are done. I don't have to worry about them anymore. They're completely scheduled. They're doing their own little thing in the background. And I can just concentrate on creating really great rapport and engaging with my customers um, to get an even better result. So I hope this has helped.